Hello Confetti Club, it is Pixie and it is time for my wardrobe tour. Part one, I think, I think part two will be my actual closet, but it's a little bit of a mess right now. I wanted to take you guys through and do another updated sort of wardrobe collection, clothing collection, closet tour type thing. Um, I did one at the end of 2016, I think, and now it's the very beginning of 2018, so I'm gonna call it 2018. Even though it's the start of the year, I don't know. I'm gonna show you the frickin' bags and shoes I have today. So I keep all of my bags hanging here. For the most part, I had a couple over on a shelf because they didn't fit, and sometimes I'll have some hanging here. But for the most part, this is my precious bag home. So I think I'm just gonna go through one by one and frickin' let's do a little bit of a haul of things I already owned. I'm gonna start with this bag. This was a fairly recent addition to my collection. This is from the brand Angelic Pretty. I love it so, so much. It is the mint and pink colorway. It's just perfect. It's wonderful. This has kind of been a go-to bag for me recently. I attached my weird little baby thing to it. Yeah, uh, it's pink on the inside. Right now there is a straw wrapper, my mailbox key, and a little freaking puppy clip from Swimmer. So, that's productive. But yeah, I love this bag. Uh, uh, I think it's sweet. This is gonna get <laughs> continuously more empty as I go on because when I finish with a bag, I'm gonna put it on the floor so I don't get confused. I think I'm gonna go in order of brand. If that makes sense, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna go a little bit loosey-goosey, but the only other Angelic Pretty purse I still have is this one. This one... I think came out at the same time as the cherry margarita print and I just couldn't let go of it I think it's wonderful. I think it's very versatile. I think you can wear it with a lot of different styles and looks I love the freaking flowers. I love the logo. I love the bow. It's a great size Everyone loves a circle bag. I think it's wonderful and I love how AP purses always have like a nice big pocket here That's where my phone usually goes. So yes, this one might have been called Daisy Margarita? I'm probably wrong. Anyway, it came out like a couple summers ago. This next purse is from Swimmer and I also got this like forever ago, probably two or three years ago. Oh, it's so precious. Rest in peace, Swimmer. Um, I love this so much. I got this again a while ago. It's just freaking cute. It's dirty as hell because it's been well used and well loved. I love it. The quilting pattern's adorable. The embroidery's adorable. It's like a happy little freaking slumber party tote, but small. I just think that this is wonderful. Yes, I will probably never let go of this. This next bag is from WC. Yeah, WC. Um, I got it online back in the day. It is clear. I don't use this one a lot anymore. I did cover it in Pretty Cure stickers for when I went to the Pretty Cure show and I filled it with Pretty Cure stuff and it was like, it was so, so, so fun. It does say only you. Um, I just think it's adorable. I love the text. I like that it's clear. I don't use it a lot because it's kind of annoying. It's kind of hard to get into because it's very like hard plasticky. But yeah, I still like this. I might sell it one day, but it does have very Daisetsu memories. This one is also from WC. Oh, doo, doo, doo. This is definitely one of my favorite bags. I don't wear it out a lot because A, it's a giant fluffy bunny and where I live, I'm the only one who wears J fashion so it's extra weird. And B, I just like having him around. I really like having him in my background. So this was the WC X Esther Loves You slash Esther Kim collaboration. I got this one in Japan. It can't fit a lot, like literally all um, plush bags. Don't get a bag that looks like a bunny or a bear if you have a lot of like lugging to do. But yeah, I just, I love this. I'm really, really glad I got it. Do, 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 do. I also ordered two of the WC Lucky Packs, so I'm excited. Perhaps I will have more WC baggage after then. Only time will tell. This is the only, like, clothing slash, like, big, like, fabric item I have from Spank, and it is this precious little quilted handmade heart bag. It also has my things from Spank in it because I'm like too scared to put them anywhere because like a Spank is very precious to me and like ah, I don't know. So I need like, I, I don't know, maybe I need to like make a frame or something for my little like postcard and my little sticker. But I just, I love it. I think it's precious. It was expensive because it's handmade and it's such like a niche market. 
but um, I'm really glad that I got this. They had a couple of different designs. I think they had like a pink one with red hearts, but it was the yellow heart um, tool that really sold it for me. And it's just, it's just so cute. It's so cute. And my pushing pom pom is on it. Hello. Also from Japan, when I was in Tokyo Hands, I picked up this like window clear heart bag. People call these Ida bags but I know the Eda bags originated just being regular bags you put pins on, so it's just a freaking clear bag that I put a bunch of weeb shit in. Um, I do want to redo this and like actually make it more hardcore and better and find a way to hang like my keychains and stuff, but right now it's just like miscellaneous pre-cure, mostly Kira Kira pre -cure mode, but there's a little bit of Mahotsukai in there. I love this. I kind of wish it had the plastic that was glittery, but I do like that it's a star more than a heart. And there's a bunch of random stuff in here. We got another Precure wallet inside. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I love this. It is kind of annoying that um, it's like a backpack, but it's this kind of backpack, but I like to have it as a shoulder bag. So I do this, but then it like hangs real weird and like sometimes my stuff falls out, but. I love it. I do also use this one quite a bit. This was actually sent to me from a confetti club member in Japan named Chloe, I believe. I might be saying your name wrong, but thank you, Chloe, so much. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It still has the snacks in it. They only sent it over around um, Christmas, so um, I still have time to eat my snacks. I love this bag. I want to do a bomb freaking ass mahoke cord with it. And I think my last bag that is from a Japanese brand is this little Swan Kiss tote. This came with the Swan Kiss Dream book. Is that what it was called? This, this one, this thing. I don't use it for a lot because it is like so small and it's pretty much, I think just to carry around books. Like it's the same size as the magazine, but I really like it and I really like Swan Kiss. So I'm glad that I have this. Should we move on to Betsy Johnson? Cause I think most of them are Betsy Johnson. I got this bag for my birthday last year and I love it so much. This is the, what's it called? Slice of life, I think. I think it's called piece of life, slice of life, slice of cake. Maybe I've just been watching too much slice of life anime, but I'm pretty sure this is the slice of life bag from Betsy Johnson. Um, obviously it looks like a cake. I think it's wonderful. I don't wear this as much as I wish I did. Oh my God, there's snacks inside. That is terrifying. I wish I wore this more. I, again, like I keep it on display because it's not as practical, but I do love the frig out of it. Mostly just because it's such a short handle. So it's supposed to be just like held. I guess you just hold it like this. You do a little wrap around and you're like, ooh, I got my cake. But I'm such a like shoulder strappy girl. And when you do that, it's like, or maybe that's not that weird. I don't know. I just need to find a better way to like style it. I wish, um, I wish that it hung like this, I guess. I wish that the straps were on the side or something. I don't know how I didn't clue into that from seeing it online, but I still love this very, very, very much. This is my holy grail. This is my number one most used bag. Um, and it is probably my favorite bag I own. Oh, again, it's Betsy Johnson. This is the split decision tote. I think it was supposed to kind of be like ice cream. It also came with an ice cream pom-pom that uh, broke. The inside, it's full of stuff because I use it, but the inside has this cute little pink rosy floral pattern. Um, it has this nice flat, easy to rest on the shoulder handle and it's just adorable. It's wonderful. I can't remember if I did an unboxing or what's in my bag or if I just featured this heavily in a favorite, but I know I did one video that like talked about it a lot. Look how cute. I love this bag. This bag is my baby. When I don't use a bag a lot, I just start putting stuff in it. So like, here's my pride flag and my other wallet and another pom-pom. But this bag is also from Betsy Johnson. This, oh, I don't know what it's called, but it's from the Love Betsy collection from Betsy Johnson. Um, and I got it around Valentine's Day. I featured it heavily in my Valentine's Day lookbook, which I would love to do another one because I have a lot more red things now too, like this. Look at it. Oh, <laughs> the little heart quilting. Oh my gosh. This bag is such a dream. It's a little small. Um, right now it's uh, filled with uh, shit. 
such as Hubba Bubba and a big bow and a bunch of um, Precure <laughs> keychains. Also from Betsy. I have one of the phone purses. This is the black and stripey one, obviously. Yes, the phone works. It is like an aux cable that you uh, click into your phone and it has like volume settings and stuff. And the inside, oh, you, it has a little latchy thing. The inside is super adorable. I kind of wish I had this another pastel-y color, but um, we actually got this locally, which is really freaking cool. So I do love this. I have worn it. Again, maybe I will like get more black accents in my life, in my fashion, but I still think this is cool as if. I have this backpack from Joy Rich. It is a fake ostrich print and it's full of stuff and I don't really want to know what's in it because I haven't like touched this backpack in a while um, but it has the drawstring there and then it has like the anti-theft thing on the back this is so dirty because this was my go-to backpack for like all of 2015 and like part of 2016 I think if I'm remembering years right I love this backpack. I think it's wonderful. However, it is like covered in dirt and mascara from like one anime convention where I cried a lot because I missed karaoke. Having a rough day, cried on my backpack. I need to get it dry cleaned, but I really like this bag. What's in it? This is horrifying. Oh my washi tape! My <laughs> an entire thing of washi tape. I just got this bag recently, but I absolutely adore it. It is a tote bag from Lazy Oaf, and it says Weird Cat Lady. I added this to my like Black Friday kind of haul. Um, and I have not accepted a plastic bag from anywhere I have shopped since beginning of December, I think. So feels really good. I take this everywhere I go. You just fold it up. I fold it up, I stick it in my big pink split decision tote, and then whenever you get to the cash you say, no, no, no ma'am, I don't need a bag, I have a reusable tote because I don't hate the environment. And it's very nice. I've been collecting a couple reusable totes actually. I have this really cute one from Lush I just got the other day, and I have a David's T one. It's so not hard to not use plastic bags, so like, why didn't I clue into this sooner? Feels good, dude. And then you get to walk around the mall instead of with all like five different gross plastic bags, you have one cute tote bag. Also in tote bag news, I have the irregular choice foily one um, that my mama got from England for Christmas. I love it so, so much. I haven't taken this one out. I don't know why, I think I'm scared to break it just because a regular choice is usually so expensive, but this was like one pound and this was like a an actual price so I don't know I just like really like bags I got this rainbow bag from just this random place in the mall um, that I'm 99% sure probably none of you will have in your country's last province um, but if you want to support like an actual brand and designer I know that skinny dip London does have a rainbow bag as well as Betsy Johnson so does current mood I think they're all very good I got this crappy one I kind of wish I had like a Betsy one but it's a little rainbow it looks cute in my background and like it's a bag and finally we have my bunny bag oh these are little earsies my bunny bag from Claire's I love this so much I got this after I had quit working there in another Claire's because ours never got them in after they sold out and I was so mad and I was just like waiting for them so I just think this is adorable so it has these earsies and then the tail is like actually on the zipper and I wore this whenever I was Cure Whip and her theme is bunnies and strawberries so I attached a little straw which is also scented and also from Claire's. So yeah, I love this a lot. I also used this a lot, a lot, a lot last year. I just put a bunch of them back because the background felt really naked, but I have two more and they are fanny packs. Both of these fanny packs are from a brand called Rack Attic, um, which is actually Kelly Dempsey's brand. And if you are a Project Runway fan, such as I am, you would know she was runner up of season 15. 14? Season 14, I believe. So I ordered these two. She doesn't ship outside of the US, I don't think, but I got my sweet friend to um, play forwarding service for me. So I got both of these. They're $40 each, I believe, so they're not 
the absolute cheapest thing in the world, but for like handmade by a designer, I think it's pretty freaking dandy. So I love these. I wear these all the time when I go out. If you're hitting up the club or anywhere where you just don't want to have a bag on your shoulder or like a purse in your hand, I love these. Do recommend. I did a whole video on styling fanny packs like last summer which you can check out if you want. I lied, I also have these two itty bitty teeny tiny ones. This one is from Claire's and this one is from WeGo, I believe. I can't figure out how to actually put your phone in here, but it was pink, clear, glittery plastic. So like I got really excited and bought it, uh, but I don't know how to actually open it, but it was like 500 yen, so it's fine. And now my friends, we are going to move on to shoes. I did a shoe collection quite a while ago, so it's probably time for a little updatey. I can't exactly remember what I had then and what I have now, so I'm just gonna show you everything. Do we like the irregular choice bag there or is it really distracting? Comment down below and I might move it. Choo -choo. My absolute most recent shoes are these, ooh, darling, darling shoes from Sugar Thrills. I got these for Christmas from my sweet, sweet, generous ma and they were in the haul. They are wonderful. I can't wait to wear them more. I was trying to break them in because um, these bits are a little bit stiff and they hurt your shin just a little bit, but it'll be fine. <laughs> these are so cute. These are good for like, again, like a fancy outing, a red carpet premiere that I've never been to and probably never will. Perhaps a night on the town. A good shoe. <laughs> I got these also glittery shoes in Japan. They are from CST and P, um, which is a store. There's one in Shibuya 109 and also one on Takshidadori. Um, <sighs> so cute. They're too small for me and it makes me so mad. And I tried them on. And of course, it's the largest size, um, but I have like size 8 gaijin feet. So that's like a size. LL in non-gaijin feet. <laughs> so these are the biggest. I loved them so much that I got them anyway. I should get them stretched out. I wonder if I can do that. I really, really love these shoes. They're so, so sweet. These are my favorite shoes I own, even though they are so uncomfortable that I can't wear them. <sighs> these are my pride and joy. These are my prized possessions. I love these shoes. I love a regular choice, but for some reason it's the shape of my foot or the shape of the shoe or something where, you know, like the little ball of your ankle, it absolutely digs into this part. So I don't know if I need to have foot surgery so I can wear these beautiful shoes or what, but I just, oh. These are the rain bunny heels that came out, I believe, around Easter. And the heel, of course, is made to look like a little jelly bunny. Oh, just, I just, uh, excuse me? These were the stupidest financial decision I've ever made, and I will admit that clearly, um, but I still don't regret it. <laughs> they were about $300 shipped to Canada, and then I had to pay $108 dollars duty to like get them from the post office which is not a regular choice's fault however uh it was a really stupid decision but uh i still love them <laughs> so it's mine do i'm gonna go in how glittery they are order the bags were in order of brand the shoes are in order of glitterness these are also from a regular choice. I lied, I'm also kind of going in order from brand. I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. These are the 99s, I believe they're called. I got these off of Ashbury Skies. These ones are comfortable enough to wear, yay! And I love them very, very much. I've definitely worn these ones a lot more. They're gorgeous. I've done entire videos on both of these pairs of shoes. Maybe I will link them. <laughs> Maybe I will forget. That is more likely, however, Oh, it's just a good day. Anyway, you've seen these. I'm gonna stop. These shoes were actually gifted to me from a sweet confetti club member at Anna Maritime two years ago. It's kind of hard to tell um, from that far away, but it's like rainbow multicolor glitter. They are from the brand Kimchi Blue, and I think they got them at Winners. But like, oh yeah, you gotta get close to like truly appreciate the rainbow glitter. These are so cute! Another fairly recent pair I picked up is from 
why are you these are the confetti air shoes i did a whole video on these as well um here they are with the laces that i put in them i don't know if i showed that in the last video these are adorable um they're relatively uncomfortable <laughs> with the bags it's just like i love all these things and with the shoes it's like these are really cute and expensive but they do make my feet bleed um no these definitely um did wear in a little bit so they're still like they're wearable, like, they're not super painful, but they're not comfy yet. They are light up, obviously. I'm not a freaking loser who doesn't have light up shoes. These are the first pairs I've had. I'm just goofing on ya. Oh, I love them so much. Eee! I like confusing people on the street even more about if I'm a six-year-old or a 25-year-old, um, and the light-up shoes definitely help. I've also sold some and given some to friends, so if you're like, where are those shoes? I probably gave them to a friend because I'm trying to downsize, believe it or not. Let's do all the YRU together. We're going in order of brand again. These, I wear a lot. You can tell because they are very filthy. Um, yeah, these are from YRU. It does say cute to the core though, but I got them on the YRU site. They're so freaking dirty. I don't even want to show them. I don't even want to touch them. Um, these have been worn a lot. They're simple. They're comfy. They were super cheap. So like, thank you, YRU. These shoes are the number one ones that I wear the most. These are my go-to comfy shoes. They do have a bit of a platform, but they're so comfortable. Like, they're so, 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 so comfortable. I should probably get a new ribbon because, again, they are filthy and disgusting because I wear them on, like, a daily basis. And I have had my shoes professionally cleaned in an airport and people still commented, like, clean your shoes. I did. <laughs> Nothing helps. I live in Canada on PEI and the dirt is red and it gets messy, buddy. Let us move on to the jelly shoes. I'm sure you guys have seen these about a bajillion times. Um, my mom got these for me from Montreal when she went to see Adam Lambert and Queen with her mom a couple years ago. Um, they are broken a little bit. The little flip thing came undone, but I still wore them all, 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 all the time. These are my go-to summer shoes. However, last summer I used my brain and thought, Jillian, why do you keep wearing broken shoes when these are the shoes you wear every day? How about you go back to the site and you get those shoes in different colors, you absolute goon. So these are all Juju, including those ones, which is, I don't know if it's like the original Jelly Shoe brand, but it's like one of the big boys. So I got these in blue, they're the exact same cut as the glittery ones. And then I got these in pink, which are the same, but they are like a flat heel as opposed to a raised one. I love them both. When my friend Kenzie came over in the summer as well, we do presents because we're friends and presents are fun. So she actually brought me two more pairs of jelly shoes from Forever 21. This one still has the freaking tag on it. That's uh, terrible. However, I have been wearing these a lot. There's dust everywhere and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get some sort of terrible jelly shoe disease. These are adorable. These are also adorable. I can't believe I haven't worn these yet. Sorry, I'm terrible. However, I love my jelly shoes. <laughs> I also have these Pegasus heels from Jeffrey Campbell. I used to like idolize Jeffrey Campbell shoes and I wanted them so bad. And I do have this one pair. I love them to bits. They're not that uncomfortable. And they have the cute little iridescent strap with the little unicorn horn heel and the little rainbow zipper. I've shown you guys these. They're old, they're grungy. I love them good shoes. I know this is one that I forgot to show in my last shoe collection because people were asking where they were, but I got these um, strappy, strappy lavender. What do you call these shoes? I don't know. I know that like popular people wear them with socks, but these are from Wego as well. I still have these heels, these mules from Dream V. I don't know, I love them so much and I don't think I want to sell them. Even though I don't wear them a lot and it is very much more on like the Gyaru side of things, I still, I just, I love them so much. I don't think I'll ever be able to part with these. I think I would still wear them 
if they weren't a mule. The mule means there's like nothing on the back to support your foot. So I just like, I feel so awkward walking in them, but like, oh, they're so cute. And lastly, I do still have these Dream V boots as well. These are way too small. They're a size 24. Don't know why I did that. I am a size 25 in Japan. They used to have big bows on the sides, but I wore these to school all the time when I got them and the bows came off real quick. I also have, and these are very new to my collection, these sweet pink metallic loafers, do you call them? Um, from my sweet Auntie Sam in England. Thank you, Sammy. Um, they're beautiful, they're wonderful, I love them. Oh, I feel like a little freaking Technicolor leprechaun. I think she got them at Primark when she was shopping with my mama. I love them so much, thank you, Sam. This video's Fiji Confetti Club member is Pixies Party on Instagram, who not only is sporting real fresh the you look good today you look nice today you look nice i should know what's on my own merch you look nice today sweater but also is a very sweet fan account who is just constantly freaking posting sweet things and just being a wonderful member of the confetti club and sending so much love to me so i'm gonna send some love back to you thank you sweet pixies party i appreciate everything you do and i love you and you look cute as heck. I love you guys so so much and I'll see you in the next video which is not this one because this one is over. Bye!